Sarah with Simply Sarah, and I wanted to just um, walk you through um, how to make sure that your place of business is listed publicly on your Facebook page so that when somebody clicks your profile, they are able to um, see what you do and see what your business is and be able to click right over to that. So I wanted to walk you guys through that. So basically, this is just your Facebook landing page, um, and I'm just going to go right over to my profile. So I'm going to select going to select my name over here. So that's me. Here is this. And as, as you can see, when you click on my page, um, under the intro, you'll have a little intro. You can write what you want here. And then it's going to give you um, owner operator of Simply Sarah, which will allow you to just highlight and click and go right to it. Um, but I want to show you how to get to that if you don't already have that currently. So you're going to go right over to about and under here right now, you can see it just gives you a little overview. But if you go to work in education, and then you can see this. I'm not quite sure why I have two here. I might have to investigate that. But I'm going to just walk you through. So what you do is you go out of workplace. And then right here, just type your business on Facebook, and it will pop up. So um, we're going to search for Simply Sarah right there, and it pops right up. Okay, and then for your position, I would do owner operator. You could do designer. You could do, um, you know, super awesome owner. You know, whatever you want. I think you can type anything in here. Um, so we'll type owner operator. You can put your city and your town, and then you can put your description. So you could put um, DIY tutorials, um, handmade signs, um, and business coaching. Uh, you know, if I wanted to do that. Okay, so you just want to give people like a brief description of what you do. So if you're a chalk painter, if you're a bow maker, um, and you can be creative here, you know, you could do like rock star, rock star bow maker or something, you know, just, just be creative here. Um, and then you can do, I currently work here. You can add the year. So put the year you started your business, you know, that gives you some social proof, um, and some grounding, um, you know, to tell people I've been in business since 2012. So I'm someone who knows what they're doing and you can trust me. Um, you can choose to add a year or you could just put, I currently work here. Um, and then the last thing that you want to do is under friends. So this is going to show to friends only. So if you want to make sure that it's shown publicly so that any, anybody who wants to click your profile and find out what you do, um, like I talked about in the video before is that you can hit, um, this button here, hit friends and then put public. So everybody's going to be able to see that. And I know that that might creep some of you out, but anybody can find your Facebook page anyway if they want to, right? Like anybody can type in what you do and your page will pop up. And that's what you want. You want people to be able to find you. Having creepy people find you is just part of um, having a business on the internet. I mean, that's just part of it, guys. You're not going to invite anybody right over to your house, okay? You're not giving out your address. You're not giving out your social security number. I mean, so don't worry about that. So select public and then hit save changes. I'm not going to save my changes today because I already have that. Um, but that's what you want to do. And then that is what will pop up when anybody clicks to your Facebook page. So I hope that's helpful to y'all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.